Okay. So uh, if you go for the top right, you will see two bu buttons, uh, enable graph view navigation and enable background 3D preview navigation. Uh, when you are clicking it right now, nothing is changing, but uh, sooner or later you will see how it's working. Just remember that here and the shortcut is control plus B, you are changing the, the view. Uh, let it stay on this uh, right one on the navigation. Um, and uh, just double left click with the map, uh, with the button, with the mouse button, and then type uh, one, and click uh, outside of the bo box. Uh, this is the code block. The code block is the the design unit in the uh, Dynamo Studio. Uh, generally, it gives you a number number one. Uh, but it has much more options. If you one more time open a new code block by double left clicking and uh, go from zero to dots one and click at outside, uh, now you create a list. Uh, you see it uh, when you go for the code block, you see that uh, you have this white window on the bottom and it's called it is giving you an, a tip that this is a list and also if you go for the pin you will see that it's showing you the list you can click on this pin and then this list will be showing you what is inside of the code block uh, and now you see that is a list from zero to one which uh, values are zero and one if you change one to ten click outside, you will see that he create a list from 0 to 10 with the numbers from 0 to 10. But uh, if I would like uh, to have a control what kind of the numbers are in the values, I will uh, put two more dots after the maximum value and create, for example, number two, go outside of the code block to change the values. And you see that he create a list from zero to five with the numbers zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. If I would like to create a list, uh, this, uh, you can control C, control V, copy paste all of the things which are inside. So I will do it right now. Control Z, the control C and control V will create the same code block. And I will just give you a uh, and if you make a hash between, uh, before two, now you see that he create two numbers. So he create a list um, from zero to 10, the values, two numbers between this uh, two minimum and maximum values. If you change it to 20, he will create a 20 uh, numbers from zero to 10. Okay, uh, remember that indexing is from zero. It's not from one. So, um, yeah, this is how the code block is working. Uh, of course, there is, uh, if I want to hide the, the list because it will it is taking a lot of space, I will just unmark the pin here and here. And then, um, I have just code block. If I want to see what is inside of the code block, but not using the pin, I will use the operation which is called watch. Now I am on the empty space, uh, not on the code block. I am clicking right mouse button and typing watch. Now I can link code block to the watch. And he will create exactly the same list with the which was uh, pinned, but uh, in the other window. Watch is very very universal. Everything you will uh, connect to it. If it's a if you are type creating a C sharp function or if you are creating a list of the points, it will show you everything. Uh, I will just create one more time. Watch Control C Control V and. Um, now you see that it's working exactly the same. 
The second option for uh, looking for the operations uh, which are allowed in Dynamo is to go for the uh, left uh, side uh, of the where it's called library and then you can type also watch. You will see that this is exactly the same as I was right clicking on the empty space and clicking watch. So generally this is reciprocal. This is exactly the same, uh, but um, okay. So right now I will, ah, one, one thing which is, uh, you should already know from the AutoCAD and it's, it's like the sign of the Autodesk that when you are marking from the left to the right, you are marking the things which are inside of the marking box. If you are marking from the right to the left, everything which you will cross with the box, it's uh, going inside. Uh, I will clean the view because I explain you what I have to explain. And we will start with creating some kind of the geometry. Uh, one thing, uh, right click on the search and go for the point by coordinates. I type points, point, but if I type by coordinates, uh, you see I have uh, more options. I could use this one, but uh, it's generally the same. So it's faster to me to type point. Uh, anyway, it has the X uh, input, Y input, Z uh, input, and it is creating a point. If you go, but not clicking on the X input, you will see that he is saying that this input should be a double and should and right now have the default default value of zero. Uh, so you already created a point, which is a geometry. And right now, if you change the view to the 3D preview navigation on the right top thing, or use the shortcut Control B, you will be now able to rotate on the view. The point is uh, in the X, Y, Z um, plane beginning, so it's not very visible, but... Uh, so, right, holding a right mouse button, it's a palm. Um, then scroll, uh, holding a scroll button of the mouse, it's moving. And here you can also orbit if you go for the... But by default, sorry, the right mouse button is orbit. Um, there is one nice thing. It's the zoom to fit. It is, uh, if you lost in the space, just use this button. It's uh, zoom to fit on the right. Top. It will show you the geometry. Okay, we are going back for the designing of our um, parametric code. So either control B shortcut, either uh, choosing, uh, just clicking on the button. So we have a point uh, by coordinate and uh, uh, what I will use now is a slider. I will use number slider. And if you go for the arrow of the number slider, you will have the minimum, maximum, and the step, which is uh, if you drag this, you will see that it's just from 0 to 100 with the step 0 0.1. I will change this step to 1 and the maximum to 20. Uh, the thing uh, what I can do is also clicking here and changing it, for example, to 10. But you can also use the slider to find this 10 value. Now I will connect it with the X. And when I will play with the slider, you will see that the, the, geometri the, the geometry, the point, is moving exactly how I am asking him to move. So he is changing the X coordinate of the point 
to the value which I want. Uh, if I will just control Z, control V this uh, number slider and connect it to the Y, you will see that um, I can control also the Y position of the point. Okay, I will create a, another point. Um, so I am right clicking on the empty space, search for the point. Uh, I am choosing point by coordinates. And one more time, I am searching for the line this time. And I'm choosing by start point and point. So I am typing line and choosing by start point and point. And I'm connecting one point to the uh, beginning and to the end. So now uh, I can move a little bit uh, the code to see that uh, we have our um, line created. If I will start to play with the geometry, with the number sliders, you will see that the line it's uh, moving. There is a small lag uh, between what you are doing and the bigger um, code you will create, the lag will be bigger and bigger. Uh, but uh, the computers are better and better, so sooner or later it will be pretty uh, fluent. Uh, okay, so we have the line. What we can do with this line? Uh, we can go for um, dividing uh, it. So we can split by parameter. I will connect it uh, line to curve. Remember, uh, remember that curve is more general description. You cannot co uh, co uh, connect curve to the line if it's not a line, but you can connect the line to the curve. And the parameter, uh, I will just use a code block with the value 0 0.1. And now you see that he created a list uh, of two curves. Uh, you don't see the difference uh, on the geometry because uh, we didn't order him to like show the end point. So if I will just go for the end point, You will see that the 0 0.1 it's uh, here. And now, what can I do? I will create a new code block from 0 to 1 with 10 divisions. And I will switch the parameter of the um, curve split by parameter. <clears throat> Now, if I will go back to the first inputs, you see that uh, the whole stuff is moving uh, like uh, it's connected everything to each other. Okay. Now, what can we do? Uh, we see that we have the points. We would like to create, for example, the truss like we did on the, with the AutoCAD. So we will make, uh, we will move these points up one meter up with the translation. So I will go for translate. Oh, sorry, it's move maybe. Okay, it's move. And then I am choosing the point to geometry and Z translation, it will be this one, which I will be using. And I will just go for the code block with the number one. So uh, one more time, I was typing move. I was choosing the first translate. 
I was connecting the points to the geometry and then defining the Z value with the code block one. Um, you see one error right now. Because we were using the end point, it was on the one side of the line. The second point which we are using, uh, which we are missing, is the start point. So if I go for the start point, I will just look for the start and find the start point. I will go for it here. But if I will mark like this, he will choose create a list of all of the start points which were um, which were here. So either I will use the curve, the line on the beginning, and then I will have only one point, which I can then move up. I would control C, control V, the geometry translate, and move the point up. And now you see that this point has uh, is already here. So I have all of the points which I want. How many of you have uh, it on your screen? Raise your hand. Well, so small. OK. Um, Okay, but how many of you are trying to follow me? Raise your hand. Okay, then uh, we will stop for a second right